What's up guys, today we are doing a little bit of a different video. I am starting my first ever writing vlog. I am so excited for this. This is one of the main reasons I started my channel, it was for my writing and to sort of make a back catalog of my writing journey and experience and stuff like that and bring you guys along for that journey. Before we get into the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love talking with you guys and liking and subscribing helps out the channel a bunch. Thank you guys so much. Now let's get into my writing journey. So it all goes back to when I was a little kid. I read this little known book called The Hobbit. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. And I used to watch the movie, The Lord of the Rings. And that sort of cemented my love for writing. When I was a little kid, I used to make videos all the time and I would try to tell these stories and I would write down a whole bunch of stuff. And by the time I was 16, I tried to really start writing. Uh, I started a book uh, called Meshel and the White Wolf. And it was before I read uh, Witcher, but it was very Witcher inspired. And I loved that book. And I never really finished it. I got to around like 40,000 words. And then I went off to college and I studied cinematic arts so I learned a lot about movies and storytelling and I actually made a screenplay for a sci-fi TV show called Starship Phoenix which I really do love that hope to get back to that one day but I'm more focused on this fantasy series I'm doing right now but and then after college I went off and I had to get a normal person job and I worked at Chick-fil-a and did management there for about almost a year until I realized I need to get back to what I love it doesn't matter the money that I'm making if I'm not doing what I love then I'm gonna like regret my life basically so I had that little existential crisis at 22 and of this year 2021 in January I said that I need to finish a book that was my goal was at the end by the end of this year I would fully finish my first book and I always remember this great professor that I had he was like a homeroom professor if that's like a thing he was my cohort professor um, and he told me that he always called himself a writer until he realized he was 40 and he would never written anything so he had to stop calling himself a writer and he was like he just accepted that and I was like I never want that to happen to me I never want to just accept that I always want to be a writer no matter if it's published or not I always want to consider myself a writer so I was determined to finish this book by the end of this year and I ended up starting in March so I started a little bit late because I, I was at Chick-fil-a and uh, I was in the management and it was everything was super busy but y'all don't care about that um, so I started in March and went all the way till June and I wrote about 30,000 words so around the word count of my first book and I was scared I was gonna get stuck there which I still kind of am stuck there so I just need to push past this word count so a lot sort of happened in June I changed careers I had to move back home there was a lot of things that were sort of happening that were shaping up and changing in my life so after getting settled in back home uh, around July I finally started making YouTube videos and now I've finally sort of caught up with life now here in October and I am back revising my book and getting it to the place where I want it to be to and then excel it to be able to finish by the end of the year. So right now I'm sitting about 40,000 words. I have part one, part two, and almost part three finished, but my ultimate goal is to have 100,000 words in this book and I want it to be done by the end of November. So I have two months, not even two months here, to be able to write 60,000 words. I plan on writing 10,000 by the end of October and I plan on doing Camp NaNoWriMo and doing 50,000 words in one month. This is something that I always wanted to do from watching Kate's videos um, back in the day. I say back in the day, it was like two years ago. She really inspired me to uh, be able to do this journey when it came back around. So it just so happens that I need to write 60,000 more words. So if I get 10,000 done now, I can write those 50,000 in Camp NaNoWriMo, my first ever one, and I could finish my first ever book. Brandon did the same thing, Brandon Sanderson. His first ever book was a Camp NaNoWriMo book, and I kind of want to do the same. I look up to uh, Brandon Sanderson a lot, and he says that his first 10 books were basically just crap, and they helped him get to where he was, but he didn't do a lot of revisions. Um, so I plan on writing my first 10 books within five years and I plan on getting a lot of revisions done and I plan on getting a lot of beta reader feedback like he did. He said he didn't do that initially. I plan on doing that from the get-go so I'm hoping um, it will excel my career as a writer. So that's like kind of my ultimate journey. But yeah, I sort of have weekly goals to be able to finish this book up. But I haven't even told you guys about the book yet so let me pull it up real quick and read you the synopsis and uh, I'll give you a little debrief after that. So the book is called Seeker of Shadow and here's my little like elevator pitch. Sylvain is only known the nation of his oppressors. His sole desire is to go visit his homeland where he is accepted. But on the day he was supposed to leave, his father has brought an ancient relic. This relic would change their world, not only resulting in the utter destruction of their family, but leaving Cell a slave 
and the sole survivor, or so he thought. Cell, in his enslavement, meets a man with the same ideals as him, and quickly becomes enthralled with the man, but when it's found out his father is still alive, Cell must choose the path he will follow, love leading to pacifism, or hate, which leads to the liberation of his people. So that was very broad and very elusive, uh, I'm sure I'll be able to find a better way to put that and it will change uh, throughout beta reads. Basically I'm playing with these concepts of extremes, um, his father is a person that believes love will win in the end, he is a very capable warrior, but he'd rather be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war, that sort of thing. Um, and then this guy that he meets, his name is Raph or Raphael, and he is a person who believes in action, who believes that he needs to stand up for his people or they are going to constantly be pushed around and all of that. This is not a one for one of race uh, slavery, basically race slavery in America, but it is dealing with concepts that are about discrimination, about oppression. Uh, these people don't really like these other people of this nation because they are trying to dominate them. Um, and so basically the kingdom has come out with propaganda and stuff like that in the old days days that they are bad and now the new and modern day king he is one who is very against this and all of that openly but it still doesn't erase a lot of the systemic basically systemic racism that has built in sort of their society uh, and it's just dealing with those sort of concepts but it's also dealing with the concepts of extremes so very passive and then very much having to do with action in your own hands no matter the cost um, and I'm really it's really good because I am working through those sort of like thoughts and trying to figure it out so writing it really helps me figure them out and I want to write a book where it still leaves open-ended questions not exactly answering what is right and what is wrong it's like a philosophy question like there's no right or wrong answer there's just like well let's just talk about it and then let's kind of get through because most people are very moderate they're like well we should love each other and all of that but you should stand up in the face of oppression and all that sort of stuff and you know but messing with those extreme is where I want to bring up those philosophical ideas and stuff like that uh, and I'm really excited to explore them I'm still exploring myself but I'm hoping by the end of the book I can kind of have like a concrete like here's an open-ended question I'd served both sides pretty well so we will see uh, but I'm very excited to get it into beta readers hands uh, when I finally finish it so I, I'm planning on finishing it by the end of November and then finishing the last of the last of my revisions because I'm gonna finish the book and I'm sure I'm gonna want to change some things and I'm giving myself a, the month of December to be able to change whatever I want and then in January I'm gonna start my new uh, book which is gonna be a pirate adventure with a girl named Olaya which I love that name it means well-spoken and I'm really excited to write her story it's been in my head for a long time and then after that these stories are going to branch off into a much bigger series not like Cosmere but more of like first few phases of Avengers where it's like uh, we learned about all these fantasy heroes and they all eventually come together in a book series and I'm hoping to be able to pull that off but we will see it'll probably change much later I don't really know but I'm excited to write these stories as they are now and I'm excited to learn as a writer over my next few years so um, I made this video to be able to go back to it and be like look how far you've grown and I'm excited to see like in a year from now if like I've hit my goals uh, if I'm not there yet you know whatever because I'm planning on next year to write two books and then I'm hoping up to keep up the trend of writing two books every year uh, but we'll see that's a very long time for now just focus on this book and then we'll get it out to beta readers but thank you guys so much for being along for this journey I really appreciate so much of your support be sure to like and subscribe helps me out a lot and leave a comment of you know whatever you want to talk about if you're writing anything like that I love talking with you guys and I will see you in the next video